scientists have is about managing related disorders when studying eyes, heart, and kidneys. How do you take care of your eyes if you're diabetic and make sure you don't lose your eyesight? Today, to learn all that, we have Dr. Jay Goyal with me, Hello. who is an expert in this particular issue that is to do with eye care, and he has got hands on experience to deal with retinopathy also. Thank you so much for being with us, no. Dr. Goyal. Pleasure. Let's start with the chase. Yes, First sir. of all, let me ask you, what are the basic problems that diabetics face in terms of eyes? Okay. First and foremost, diabetic diabetes is a silent disease. Okay. What happens is that the biggest challenge that diabetic face uh, faces today is that diabetes is undiagnosed. Okay. What happens is that this is our eye. This is how a normal retina would look like. This is the optic nerve, and this is the fovea. Now the fovea or the macula is like the tip of the eye. Suppose I take a pen. What is the most important part of the pen? The tip. If the tip is spoiled, the pen won't work. Absolutely. Similarly, in the eye, this macula is the tip of the eye. Now, when a patient has diabetes, the eye starts to bleed slightly, but the tip of the eye, there is still no problem. So the patient is having a problem, but because there is no loss of vision, because there is no uh, there is no decrease in vision, there are no visual symptoms at all. Patient feels are normal. Then, as the diabetes increases, the eye starts to bleed even more. Now there is a very small change you see here at the tip of the eye. Okay. This is called as macular edema. Now when this comes in, okay. this usually comes at an age around 45. So patient would feel that, okay, I maybe have cataract. I maybe I have a change of glass number. So patients at this stage... Are you a normal healthy person or a diabetic? Uh, diabetic. Okay. diabetic. Suppose a patient gets diabetes at, at, at around 40, at 35. This stage would usually come when... Yes, this, this stage would essentially come after 7-8 years of him having diabetes. See, we, we need to understand, diabetic retinopathy is directly proportional to the duration of diabetes and to the level of sugar. So if a patient has a sugar of 150, the changes will come in 20 years. If a patient has a sugar of 500, the changes will come in 5 years. So once this stage starts, this usually coincides with a early cataract. So patient feels, you know, maybe my glass number has changed. Okay. Maybe I have a cataract. He still tends to ignore this. Then when he comes, he comes at this stage when there is actually frank bleeding inside the eye. That is when he realizes, oh, there is something wrong. I am seeing flashes. I am seeing floaters. I woke up last night, today morning, suddenly I cannot see anything. Okay. The core is that as per international standards, every newly diagnosed diabetic should have a eye checkup that very day. That very day. If today you have been told by your general physician that you have diabetes, please start this as medicine, you need to get an eye checkup that very day. Uh, second thing, every controlled diabetic should have an eye checkup done every year. And every uncontrolled diabetic should have a checkup done every three to six months. This is not my words, these are international standards laid down by the World Health Organization. Also, eye is the only organ in the body where you can see live, see, these are live blood vessels. These are live blood vessels. Now, this same pattern is there in our kidney, in our heart, in our brain, everywhere. So if there is a problem in the eye, there is definitely going to be a problem in other parts of the body also. So eye then becomes a window into a diabetic patient's body, where you can actually find out what stage he is in. Which essentially means that if you have uh, necropathy, 
yes. uh, if there is kidney failure. Yes. Does that essentially mean that your eyes will have it, it does not mean 200% you will have it. You will have, you will have some changes for sure. Okay. There are people with diabetic nephropathy like you said they it directly relates to macular macular edema because kidneys cannot oh, macular edema macular edema, macular edema is swelling see this is a normal looking fovea or the macular like i told you macular edema would be swelling over here see this is not normal there is accumulation of fluid over there this is seen best by an oct scan and what fluid is this? Uh, see, in a diabetic patient, what happens is that there is microvascular occlusion. Okay. So because of that, the small blood vessels get blocked and then they tend to leak. So this leaking fluid accumulates in the retina of the eye. That is what leads to macular edema, that is swelling in the layers of your retina. Okay. I've spoken so many things, uh, I've got so many related questions. First of all, um, what, when you say, you know, uncontrolled and controlled diabetes, yes. okay, if a patient walks into your clinic, yes. uh, how do you gauge, is it because of his glycosylate and hemoglobin report, or mm -hmm. how do you come to a conclusion that it's a controlled or uncontrolled diabetes? See, you, there are a few leading questions that I ask every patient. First question is, are you a diabetic? Yes or no? If you have diabetes, you have it since how many years? Third question is, is your diabetes in control? Okay. Fourth question is, when was your last sugar checked? Fifth question is, does your sugar remain between 100, 200 or does it go to 300, 200, 100? So these with these questions you can gauge whether the patient has a good control or not. Okay. There are patients who say, sir, my sugar is 200, uh, but, 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 but it's normal. So for some patients, exactly. But they don't know that there is a lot happening in his body which he may, he may, uh, he may not even know of. Exactly, exactly. And the worst thing is, diabetic eye disease causes painless loss of vision. The patient will turn blind. He will never have pain. His eyes will never water. His eyes will never, never, never be red. His eyes will never itch or hurt. He will just go blind silently. So till there is a, a, a advanced diabetic eye disease, patients often do not realize that they actually, actually have a problem. How many people actually get eye problem because of diabetes? There were studies done by international institutions in our country. Okay. Shankar Nitra and L.B. Prasad. In that it was found that 14 to 30 percent of newly diagnosed diabetics had pre-existing diabetic retinopathy. Oh. So the problem is much more acute than what you and me think. It's, it's one, much severe. Two things. One thing is about, uh, you know, uh, is it prevalent in both type 1 as well as type 2? No. Type 1 and type 2 are vastly different. In this, whatever I'm talking to you is essentially of type 2. In type the 1... Majority. The majority. Yes. In type 1 disease, the... the they, they're symptoms are much worse you know like they would they, uh, they would have thirst and they are essentially uh, uh, young kids sure. so they are they would feel hungry they would feel thirsty and all and it is essentially an insulin dependent diabetes sure. so they have to be on insulin so the sugars anyways are very well controlled uh, most of their sugars are are, are controlled and they usually do not have these problems. In type 2, patients for a very long time do not know that the diabetes is there. So the, accident, yes, the detection might take 
10 years. Sure. So for 10 years, there is a lot going on in the body, but they have no idea. Very true. So whatever I'm talking is essentially about type 2 only. Okay. Uh, we'll go to the prevention matter of it. Yes. Before that, um, how often do you think uh, are the checkups done in a usual diabetic for eye problems? How often should it be? Yes. Now, uh, as I told you, I think I have already I have already covered this. Every newly diagnosed diabetic should have a checkup done immediately. Every controlled diabetic, as in if his sugar is up till only 200, he should have a checkup done once in a year. If the diabetes is not in control, if the diabetes uh, fluctuates 200, 400, 300, 200, he should have a checkup done once. Once, uh, once, every, once every six months, and if a patient has any eye symptoms, he should get a checkup done immediately. Okay, okay. Doctor, there are so many diabetologists who actually tell us that you know the most vulnerable organ is kidney. Right. All right. Right. And sometimes many diabetologists even tell us that there's not been a single patient who has lost his eyesight because of diabetes. Okay. Why is that so? Any particular reason that the nature actually take care, take care of your eyes much more than it take care of your uh, your kidneys? Uh, see, I'll tell you, the kidneys have a much larger network of blood vessels as compared to the eye. Sure, sure. So if the eye has two vessels, the kidney has probably ten. So if the kidney has ten, if in the eye one is affected, kidney 5 will be very effective. Okay. So the problem in the kidney is usually much more and much earlier and much worse as compared to, to the eye. Yes, true. Because the kidney has a larger network of blood vessels. In terms of your own patients yes. you know, who are diabetics, yes. how many actually, actually lose their complete eyesight because of diabetes? Uh, I will... In terms of you know, if you... Uh, see, sir, I, uh, I tell you, if you talk of this, probably up to the 90s, there were quite a few patients. Okay. But now, in the past 10 years, 12 years, we have advanced uh, medicines, advanced surgeries, where even patients with no hope can now see something. So, those percentage now has dropped significantly. So, any patient who comes to me, I now at least have the hope of giving him some useful vision. So, the point where the eye is lost is probably very rare now. Much less. Much, much less now. Okay, that's partly goodness. Tell me, uh, you know, how... How about the cost of checkups? Is it one of the inhibitions why people don't go for eye checkups? Is it one of the cost of uh, See, first of all, diabetes itself is a cost. You know, it's a Definitely. It is a very, very expensive disease. Expensive disease. Yes. Uh, there drugs or insulin or even you know, related disorders or everything so expensive. I agree. So, I agree. is it one of the reasons why you know people don't go for eye checkups? I would actually put it as a more of a... Uh, Lack of awareness. If today four people in a family go to any uh, 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 movie theater, they would spend two and a half thousand sure. on tickets and food and all. Sure. Sure. A diabetic eye checkup at my center, including all the testing, would be less than thousand five hundred. So it is not the cost. It is the knowledge. It is a lack of will. That if there is a movie, I want to see it. But if it is my body, I'll go tomorrow. I will see. I'm fine. Yes, Dr. Goel, uh, probably in your center, it's a different thing. You know, we met a few diabetologists mm -hmm. in Bangalore who work in government uh, hospitals. Right. You know, there is a lady, doctor, uh, she's a Muslim. Right. And she says she treats most of Muslim patients. Right. It's so touching. You know, she says, uh, you tell the patient, Okay, have all these drugs, mm -hmm. have this insulin, distribute mm -hmm. the dose. Mm -hmm. And the patient is about to move out at the door, he will turn around and say, instead of four drugs, can I have one? 
uh, instead of you know 70 units of insulin, can I have just about 20 units? Mm -hmm. Because for them, the food itself is such a precious thing. You know, insulin and treatment all comes later. True. True. So true. It's in that relation, you know. You know, if I t eyes or eyes, you know, the checkups are also falling in the same category where the cost is. So the checkup has to be to be done just once in a year. Sure. sure. That's it. It is just see because. If today you are spending 500 a year, it is like buying, 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 buying an insurance policy. If I see you with a very bad eye, you may need surgery, you may need laser, you may need this and that, which would cost you 30,000, 40,000, whatever. But if I see you, if I see you now, essentially what, what, what happens? If you come to me, in this stage so you are absolutely fine please come back after a year if you are in this stage so you are fine control sugar please come to me after a year if you are in this stage so you are doing well let's do one small laser it costs two or two or three thousand only please come back to me after a year if you are in this stage sir I is bleeding we are in a fire fighting situation now so if you come to me stage or if you come to me at this stage I can prevent this stage from coming I can counsel you I can help you I can tell you sir you feel your sugar 200 is normal it is not I do not want this stage to come please control your sugar in diabetic eye disease Prevention is the biggest cure.